my name is Nayo Kenza and this is Bina Maya and welcome back to another video. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Yes, number two and this is going to be our, but my favorite, my favorite game to play. Seven questions plus one with Bina Maya. Hey. But before we start, I want to show this off though. I, I didn't get a chance to show this off in the last video. So this is the patch that she was kind enough to bring me all the way from New Zealand. Yeah, it's a cassette tape because we're old and that's how we listen to music when mm -hmm. we were coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was, you know, lime wire and viruses. But before all that, <laughs> <laughs> before all that, cassette tapes. <laughs> Recording off um, radio and stuff. <laughs> and the DJ talks like, no, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. There's only 10 seconds left. Uh, are you listening to XL 106.0? No. Shut the fuck <laughs> They always wasted them at yeah. the end of the song. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, anyways. Alright, so today, in this video, we're going to do seven questions plus one with Bina Maya. And let's just jump right into it. How do you feel? Yeah. Ready? Alright. Question number one. Teleportation or flight? Oh, yeah. Um, flight. Uh, <laughs> see that, Sarah? You see that? <laughs> All right, but but why flight and how would it work for you? But first, why flight? Uh, um, flight. Be because it'd be fun. Like, I teleporting. Okay, yeah, it'd be really useful, and mm. you could go anywhere, like, or whatever. Mm. But flight's fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but like for you, like would you soar or would you like kind of like, you know, maybe fly, maybe like two stories off the ground? Like what would it look like for you? How high would you be willing to go? Ooh, clouds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, just going straight forward. Hey. Yeah. Um, I think because I had like flight dreams okay, okay. when I was like little yeah, yeah, yeah. or younger. Um, and I could never fly in my flight dreams. That is super weird, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still consider them flight dreams, even though I, I didn't actually fly. So are you just like stationary in the clouds? Like, how does, no, how does no, that no, work? no, no, like, I think, like, oh my god, this is super embarrassing. I think this is like a total, like, mental, you know... Like, like a minty bee. Trauma, <laughs> like, something, yeah. that, you know, says something about my childhood, I guess. Um, Nah, I had this repetitive dream where I was in my backyard mm. and I would like run mm. and try and like, I guess, fly over the fence. That was like the goal was to be able to fly over the fence. And I could kind of like jump high and soar a little bit and I'd always fall before I could get over the fence. Like really fall on the fence? No, no, no. Just, oh. just before it. Okay. <laughs> and it wasn't like crash landing. I just yeah. thought, boop. Um, yeah. And so I would never be able to get over the fence. I could never actually fly, but it was like so close. It was like a so close feeling of flight, but not actually being able to do it. Mm. And then when I was, I think, um, so I had that dream when I was a kid, right? Mm. And then I didn't have the dream again for like years and years and years. And then when I was in my 20s, maybe like 23 or 24 or something like that, mm. I had the dream again. Hey. And I got over the fence. What was it like to get over the fence? Was it like a sense of accomplishment? Yeah, totally. Because I got like more than just over the fence. I got over the fence and into the sky. <laughs> like hard out, like real, like <laughs> up into them clouds, mate. Um, yeah, mm. and then I've never had the dream since. Because you've accomplished it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. But, but so I want to fly like that, mm. that kind of feeling. So that's like soaring. But like, what? No flapping. But I guess for the mechanics of it for you then, like would it feel like you're running or like you have to like flap your wings or just kind of no. be like, you could just lead by Yeah, like more like that, more just, like okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Just like flying and it's all chilled and easy and I'm not actually string, you know, doing mm. any strenuous activity because like I don't like running. Would you be brave enough <laughs> to try flying outside of the country then? Like. Oh know, yeah, that's the whole point of it. Even over like large bodies of water? Yeah, yeah, because I don't get tired. I'm hopping on your back. <laughs> like, I'm afraid of flying over water. So I'm totally like, let's go, Bina. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm confident in my abilities. I'm not going to like fall and drown. Because like in my like scenario of flying, mm. like I don't get tired. So ah. like I'm just going to be able to like, Choo! for like ages. Hey. That's my like, but, okay. idea of it. Yeah. But what if like people <laughs> find out you could fly then? Like would you like, would you embrace it? Or would you try to like fly it in secret? Like would you fly at night? <laughs> like, would you fly so no one can see you? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I guess because of the way the world is, they would, yeah. like, do something bad to me if they could find oh, out yeah. that I was, like, flying yeah. or, like, try and, like, yeah, yeah. you know. Somehow, some way, the government would get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I'd, like, fly at night, maybe, to try and, like... Yeah. 
so not flight <laughs> over flights of water. That's not, uh, yeah. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> You're brave as hell. I respect that. It doesn't sound yeah. like the best. No, nah, I still like that. Though. I'm just happy your team flight. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next question. Mm. All right. Most used emoji. The heart? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and when you use that, because mm. I quite use that a lot too for mm. like replies and stuff. Yeah. I, yeah. I use them a lot with you too. Yeah. He's like, oh, I like what you're saying. I like what you're saying. I like what you're saying. <laughs> Maybe because we're millennials. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> So, That's how they do it they say there. This, yeah, that one. I don't even see. Is the heart, is the heart here? Yeah, it's there. It's there. Uh, oh, okay. I see it now. Okay. Hey, naru, okay, Naru mm -hmm. do we, I just never knew how to see the heart. I'm just like, that means heart. But I just never, it never clicked for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess. Okay. Just take everyone's yeah, word just, for it. I was yeah. like, yeah, sure, if you say so. But yeah. now, when you use the heart emojis, yeah. in what kind of manner are you using them? Are you sending them? Are you using them to reply? Like, are you sending for, like, support? Like, I often sign off my messages with a heart at the end or mm -hmm. something. Or, like, the wee double hearts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, boop. yeah. Um, Because, like, if I write messages or, like, I used to always do the XX. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. you know, yeah. choo, choo, choo at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, similarly to that, mm. like, I use, like, hearts to, like, sign off a lot of my messages, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I just think it like softens the whole thing. Oh, definitely. You know, definitely. There's no hard words in here. There's a heart at the end of it. <laughs> Your grandma has passed heart. Yeah. <laughs> Sending love. <laughs> no, but I feel you too. Like, I think there are some people who are taught to. Like when I talk to you, I I always have to send, I get to like finally use all my heart emojis. I'm like yay! <laughs> <laughs> but there's some people who are taught to. Like one of my guy friends, Daniel. He and I will yeah. send each other hearts just to be funny. Nice. <laughs> like you know, the little kissy faces with the hearts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He and I will like I'll do it with my other friends, and they'll be like, "Bro, what's going on?" Oh dude? really? Like, oh, I love my hearts. So, yeah, the hearts are good. Yeah, that's, a good <laughs> that's a good emoji. Okay, are there any like like, like number two emojis? Like you know, any like top contenders? Yeah, the one that's like going with the heart. Uh, yeah, I send that to you a lot. Yeah, I think. I quite like that. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Aww. Heart. yeah <laughs> heart. I, like, <laughs> I feel like that has like a couple of different. Um, like meanings to it yeah. as well that one yeah. that can just be like a little bit cheeky yeah um <laughs> or it can just be like sending love or i don't know it's, i appreciate the cheat though one. so yeah all right very cool very cool all right <laughs> continuing on the topic of phones oh, fine. question number three if you had to delete all but three applications from your phone which ones would you keep um i would keep spotify Okay, okay, I okay. Think. I need my music. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I need to have music for me somewhere. So mm. Spotify, um, I would keep um, Time Tree. What is Time Tree? Time Tree is like a scheduling thing, but it's linked to like my partner has Time Tree on his phone as mm. well. And so um, if he updates the Time Tree with like certain like schedules or like things then i see it as well oh cool cool yeah cool. so it's like com combined calendar yeah, 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 yeah. and it's really useful that's actually pretty awesome because i can't remember what day it is or like um what i'm doing the next day so i need something to tell me what it is yeah, and i think yeah. if i didn't have that it would be bad i'm gonna look into that that's really cool so like for Touch example awesome. like if your partner let's say if you and your partner have like i guess something that you're looking forward to doing at the end of the week yeah and then like you know maybe if something happens the day of the, that schedule and then like maybe an hour or two before then you know me okay let's push this back or something like that oh uh, you can yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, it should give you like a message that it has been changed or updated but okay, like okay. i have noticed that sometimes it doesn't <laughs> but it's okay because i edited his this morning because mm. he put in a couple of schedules but he's the wrong color <laughs> So you can customize the colors then for like individual schedules and like, like you know, yeah. just collective schedules. Yeah. yeah. So like I always use pink for mine mm. and he always uses like this green mm. and he put in, but they're for like our personal yeah, 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 yeah. schedule. Yeah. And then like today mm. it was like meeting Nayo and it was in pink, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, so for like our together ones, we use a kind of like a teal color, like yeah. a cyan, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so the ones he had for like our together schedule, he made them green. I was like, no, like no, <laughs> we're both in this. Yeah, and then for our wedding, mm. it's purple. I don't oh, know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, has to have a special color. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I made yeah. it purple. That's tight. <laughs> I might look into Time Tree. Time Tree's great. Okay, so we have Spotify, oh. we have Time Tree. What's the last one? What is the last one? Can I look at my phone? You haven't said it yet, though. But yeah, you, know. you can grab your phone if you want. Yeah. One moment, please. One moment. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's on my phone? Wow, 
while I'm in Japan, mm. the that the um, train app. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the getting around. Okay. Yeah, I reckon. That's actually a very pragmatic answer. Yeah, it's yeah. boring. Yeah. No, but I like that. I respect <laughs> that though. No, because like I th I don't think I've mentioned that because I usually just go to like a uh, Namaket uh like. I forgot the name. I just go like I just Google search it, whatever. Yeah. But I think actually having an application has advantages. Can you like say preferred routes and stuff or like? I can't remember. I only just got the app again after two years. I don't remember oh, how that's it works. True. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, but what about back home in New Zealand then? Like, what app would you keep? Google Maps. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> For the same reason. Yeah. Okay, so I get lost. Mm. I don't know my way around anywhere. Even my hometown, <laughs> I get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a map. No, I respect that. And then you have Spotify <laughs> for when you do get lost. Yeah, yes, like, you have exactly. little, side, little side adventures. And then you can like, update your schedule <laughs> with your partner. <laughs> like, hey, uh, I'm lost right now. No, I like oh, those. Oh, I didn't keep any messaging yeah. apps. I can't even message him to say that like, I'm lost. But you could like covertly send messages though during Time Tree. Just, Whoa, uh, um, I could ring him. That's on there. That's true. Yeah, that's a freebie. That is a freebie. Yeah. Can't say. All right. But I do like your answers though. So Spotify, Time Tree, which I'm gonna look into, yeah. and Google Maps or a train app in Japan. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Question number four. Numeral numeral four. Numeral four. Anyways, uh -huh. question number four. <laughs> if you had to eliminate one thing from your daily routine, what uh, would it be and why? Can I say work? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you say that. <laughs> yeah. If I eliminated work, I would have so much more time for like uh, creating music and stuff, which is more my, that's my passion that I would want to be my work, I guess. Mm. But I also don't want to want to be one of those people who like does their passion for their job and then start to hate it. That's fair. Mm. That is fair. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So what like a backup routine that you give it have been? So like, because like for example, like I want to work as a musician full time, right? Mm. But like, that'd be like, you know, just work when I feel creative. Yeah. I, or just, I go on tour and I have to do my tour schedule. But mm. like, there would be days where I could just like, just chill. chill and have nothing on, right? Exactly. Yeah, best. But those days I still wouldn't want to eat too much because I hate pooping. So that's what I would eliminate. <laughs> Eating <laughs> or pooping? Eating because it leads to pooping. Uh, yeah. What did I do? Grocery shopping. It takes up so much time. Yeah, it does. But sometimes I really like grocery shopping. Um, I mean, you can still electively do, you can still electively <laughs> do this. Electively do it, but yeah, they don't but have to do it. You wouldn't have to do it, yeah. Maybe shopping. Uh, yeah. Okay, I respect that too, because it's just so much money. Oh, yeah. And, just like, yeah, yeah. and you can't go shopping hungry because you spend too much, but then you can't go shopping full because you don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, because you're too tired. And yeah, you're just like, I can't be bothered. I don't mind shopping in Japan as much as I mind it in New Zealand, though. What do you reckon the difference is? more out of your way in New Zealand. And you have to drive there too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to yeah. drive. There's nowhere as close. Mm. And yeah, it's like an extra chore that you have to go out and do. <laughs> Whereas like in Japan, at least for me where I lived, mm. there was a supermarket on my way home, like mm. on my walking route home. There were several actually. And so it was just like pop in, pop out. It was easy. And you only buy like a couple of little things anyways because yeah. you go past it every day. So you can always just buy something fresh and mm. new like every day. Whereas in New Zealand, because it's such an effort to go to the supermarket, you Get buy a lot drive. because you don't want to have to go out and do it again. No, I, was, I definitely understand. I felt the same way in America. Like, you know, when I would have to go buy groceries or whatever, when I was going to Publix or whatever. Mm. Gotta get in the car. Sometimes I have to buy gas on the way yeah. to, the, to oh. the store. See, we couldn't even do that because the store's first. If we needed to go get gas, we had to go further away to get the gas to come back to the supermarket to go back up the hill. I live on a hill. Compound chores. <laughs> Just chores on top of chores on yeah. top of chores. And I live on a hill. So everything's uh, yeah, far yeah, away. Yeah, everything's everything's far, away. far away. Yeah. Mm. And I think you were saying before, like in the last video, that like sometimes like when you're trying to like get creative juices flowing you can take a walk mm. as well. to get like a tune of like you know like a melody or something to be honest i have to go for a walk well so like in japan like you could even you know accomplish some creative stuff yes. on the way yeah which i did when yeah. i was going to the supermarket i could like you know do my creative thing but here it's just like because to walk down my hill takes 30 minutes 
I'm not doing that. <laughs> you just lie down, just roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. well, people are always like, oh, you'll be so fat. And I'm like, I'm not working up that hill. Oh, that nah. hill takes 40 minutes to walk up. Nah. Thank you. No, that's, that's, there's a limit. <laughs> that's about, as much you can do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, so no shopping. Yeah, I, I respect that answer. Yeah, I definitely respect that. All right, and I think it reminds me of what you were saying in the last video with like the little like vegetarian chef. So there. like if someone else like, I don't know, came in and did the cooking but then like went away. <laughs> so we really? cooking, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So you don't have to go to the supermarket. <laughs> it's all around food, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We should just not eat. Well, this video is also <laughs> sponsored by Huel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is actually my favorite question and i'm looking forward to asking you this one oh, no. so the next question is this yeah ah! all no! right here we go if you were the captain of a pirate ship mm -hmm. what would be the name of your ship so I, I really want to give like a cool answer that's all like mysterious and like you know grown up and and, and you know hmm. cool because that's the image i want to be but i'm not that person <laughs> I don't like, want to wanna... say anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to be cool and, like, yeah. suave and, like, yeah. mysterious Which I was, like, when I was a teenager. Yeah. And now I've turned into, like, this goofball. That's cool. <laughs> so, that's to cool. be honest... We can be goofballs like, together. Yeah. That's why I think that's why we collab so much together, because we're both yeah. goofballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's right, then. Yeah, yeah. Um, for our energy. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, to be honest, like, my Kaizoku-san... What's it called? Pirate ship. Pirate ship. ship. It was, this is One Piece. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so my pirate ship name would just probably would like be like... Kai Sok Sen? <laughs> no, no, it would be like Fluffy Pink Bunny, like chocolate syrup or something, like done like that, you know? I actually like that. <laughs> no, think about this, think about this, think about this, because like, you would expect pirate ships to be like, you know, either like something like maritime related, oh, maritime, yeah. mar oh, yeah, maritime, mar like... maritime related, or something kind Water. of tough. Yeah, something kind of tough. But if it's like, if it's like chocolate syrup, I'm not f***ing them. <laughs> I'm not f***ing with them, bro. Like, no, they're pirates. Fluffy pink bunny chocolate Yeah, I'm not f***ing with that crew. Um, be like, nah, they'll kill me. <laughs> like, you know, they're probably badasses. Like, I'm not f***ing with the fluffy pink bunny crew. Nah, I'm not. I'm not messing with them. I'll take, you know, liquid death over here or whatever. I'll, I'll take my chances with them, but this one. Well, a lot of the ships and stuff are like, also like lady or like yeah. women's names and stuff out there as well. Yeah. yeah, that was my ship. It was a, it was oh, a what's your ship? It was Genevieve of the Deep. Ah, uh, see, yeah. that's all like cool and deep and like, you know, mysterious and suave. But the thing about we I might sink that. though. <laughs> I should have realized Genevieve <laughs> of the Deep. <laughs> we might end up in the deep. In the deep, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like with like a fluffy, fluff, what did I feel? Fluffy pink. Uh, pirate pi crew. No, pi fluffy pink, pink rabbit chocolate syrup. It'd be more like this. Do, 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 yeah. Do. You know, Nobody's fing with y'all, bro. I'd be afraid nah. of that. I'd be afraid of that game. <laughs> really. Nah, nah. <laughs> no. I'd probably paint it pink as well. Yeah, I'd probably leave the ship alone. I'd be like, we could be comrades. But I'd be like, I don't want them as an enemy because I don't know <laughs> what kind of crazy stuff the captain has up her sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cracking. Yeah, you're like, ooh. <laughs> well, there's a reason why they feel comfortable enough to have that name. <laughs> I'm not going to find out. It's super strong. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna find out about that one. So yeah, all right. I really like that answer. So once again, fluffy, pink, pink bunny, bunny, chocolate syrup. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of like illegal wrestling move or something. <laughs> like you're not allowed to do the fluffy pink bunny chocolate syrup because like you dislocate someone's neck. Um. <laughs> all right. All right. Number six. This one I think is probably the hardest question I reckon I have on here. So sorry. Heads up. I thought the pirate ship was hard. <laughs> okay, fair. That's fair. That's fair. But it was such a great answer. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, here we go. Question number six. What book did you read that changed your life the most? Oh. Yeah, that is quite hard. Yeah. Um, is it bad that I can't remember what it's called? Not at all. I know what it is. I just can't remember what it's called. Explain it to us. Okay. So... I'm dyslexic and I couldn't read mm. until I was like 12. Mm. That's super embarrassing too. No, thank um, you for sharing that with us. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. So I sucked at English. Still not great at it sometimes. And, um, you know, the school was always trying to force me to read and I hated reading. And my godmother, she gave me like these fantasy books. Mm. And like they're like, you know, pre-teen or teen, pre-teen, 
mm. I guess, level sort of fantasy books, um, with a really strong female character as the lead. And um, those books got me into reading, they got me into writing, they got me into like fantasy, they got me into like creativity. So I think those books changed my life probably the most. Yeah. Okay, let's work out what it might have been. So you can't remember the name of the books? What was this? Do you remember like the story or whatever? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them like fully. I just can't remember what it's actually called. It's like, like we always called them the Alana series. But I'm actually not sure if that's what they're called. It wasn't Shadow of the Dawn, was it? Lioness, no. something Lioness. Yeah. What Song was... of the Lioness or something like that? Ugh. What's like the quick, like, a quick summary of like what happened though? Like, was it set like an alternative world? Was it like, yeah, it's magic like, and stuff? Yeah, or... yeah, magic. And it's like the sort of um, traditional um, like fantasy sort of setting where it's like castles and knights and stuff. So like, there's a, a girl and her twin brother. Hmm. And so like, um, the girls are supposed to go to the monastery and learn to be... Oh, and learn magic, actually, I think. Mm. And the boys are supposed to go to, like, the castle and learn to be a knight. Mm. And she doesn't want to do that, so she cuts her hair and pretends to be a girl boy and, like, goes and be a knight instead of her brother. And he goes off to the convent to learn magic because that's still kind of, like, doable, I guess, for boys. Uh, I'm going to find out these books and I'm going to put the link. Actually, I'm going to do a screenshot <laughs> no. right here. Super embarrassing. Don't do that. Yeah. In fact, if you know Don't the books, put us in the comments. No, well, it. it's too late. I've already, I've already said I have a screenshot of the, of the title. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because those, yeah, those mm. books were what got me into reading it, I guess. And then I, like, fell in love with reading after I was able to read, finally. Mm. Mm. Um, and also, like, probably inspired me to start writing myself yeah. as well. Because I, yeah, wrote books as well. So That's I really guess cool. that, yeah, led into that. Thank you for showing that, man. I appreciate it. That's really cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, on to question seven. All right, now I think I might know the answer. Actually, I reckon I might know the answer to this. But I don't know. Do I know the answer to this? We'll find out. Mm -hmm. All right, are you a spring, summer, fall, or winter person? Ah, uh, are we talking about colors? Talking about how you feel on the inside. Oh. So I guess personality, I guess, or just like your outlook on life. I'm a winter person, no surprise. But I'm not a winter season fan, but I'm a winter person. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha, 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 Where it counts. Gotcha. So, like, if we're talking about colouring, I think I'm spring, which is weird, but apparently that's what I am. But what do you mean by that, by colouring? Colouring. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, with, like, fashion and everything, we uh... talk about people's colours as being either winter, spring, summer, mm. or autumn. So, like, it's what colours suit you. Ah, no, hold on. Right? Yeah. So, like, I'm a spring coloring. So, like, so spring like colors. Greens like, and like. Not like blue. that. All, all of the, all of the seasons have all of the colors. It's the tones. Ah, okay. Nantanaku <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah. Tatoeba. Yeah. Tatoeba. Um, if you think about like. Oh, winters are, for winters have quite sharp colours, so it'd be like really clear blues and okay. like whites. Mm. <laughs> but the, I only wear this shirt for the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I wear all black usually in my day to day life. Yeah. Um, for me, it's they're still quite clear colours, but they're kind of slightly on the softer side. Okay, like pastels. It, no, I can't pass. Uh, can't remember now. I know when I say it, it's real hard to explain. Mm. <laughs> but we're talking about what? Personality. Yeah. So like mm. mentally, I guess, how you see yourself, uh, like, not spiritually, but you know what I'm getting at. Like, you know, like psychologically, autumn. what season do you, autumn. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. And why is that? Because I think autumn is a little bit more on the chilled side. Mm. It's still really warm. Mm. And I, f even though it's summer is the warmest season, I feel like autumn is more cozy uh, and so i think i'm more of a cozy person because people can come and talk to me and like i like, like that uh, you know i like that yeah i was gonna have you as a summer person but ah. hearing this now i definitely see you as an autumn person you you i guess yeah because definitely you're, you're an autumn person for me because i could talk to you about anything yeah so, so it's cozy and rappy so yeah. it's still warm 
Yeah. But there's a little bit of freshness in the air, but it's not sharp the way that spring is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's not so hyperactive the way that... Like, I can be hyperactive, but yeah. that's because, like, Coffee. there's a little bit of lingering there of the summer months, right? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. autumn's my favorite season. But I know for me, I know I'm winter. Mm. Like, in my heart of hearts. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so I like summer, but I feel like I'm probably autumn person. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's really dope. All right. <laughs> now we are on to the plus one question. So Ooh. this means Bina is going to choose one question that we're both going to answer. All right. Do, 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 do. But they're all pretty good. Well, thank you very much. I stole them from the internet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, I kind of want to do that one as well, but then, like, I kind of want to do that one. If I'll do want, that one. You and I can rock it for scissors. I'll represent one question. You can represent the other question. No. Okay. But then, because we both have to... No, because then we have eight. Oh, okay, yeah. <gasps> uh, eight, nine. Nine questions. No, whichever question wins know. gets asked. Oh, the losing question doesn't get asked. Oh. So if you want, yeah, if you can't decide... Which, so which question are you going to Okay, represent? I'll be that one. This for, one, yeah, okay. Yeah, and you can be the, that one. Uh, this one right here. Oh, no, wait, that would be... No, wait, wait. No, we're going to ask this one. Screw it. Okay, let's do it. All right, we found the question. Um, if you could pick up a new skill in a moment, what would it be? Fun. Um, <laughs> I think it would be... better intuition on how to read people. Oh. I guess, if I had to think of something momentarily. Because I reckon maybe the skill might leave you after that moment. So like, I was, okay. yeah, I think that's how I meant that question to be. Oh. So like in that moment, in that situation, I think mm -hmm. I would learn, I would like to be able to like be like, you know, how like detectives or like, you know, people who study body language mm -hmm. or how they can like pick up on certain telltale signs that I can trust this person, I can't trust that person. So oh. how to learn if someone's lying or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. like, I wouldn't be running around like asking people questions to see if they're lying, but just, you know, <laughs> just to make sure like, you know, I'm not getting like, I guess, scammed or like I'm not in immediate danger. So I'd pick up a more like situational awareness. I think I can understand, but more like situational awareness as it relates to the person in front of me mm. and what their motives may or may not be. Oh, that's really cool. So like, yeah, how to read people. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. But what about you? That's cooler than mine. <laughs> hey, you know, we can't all, you know, we can't <laughs> all, awesome. <laughs> we can't all be renter people, you know? <laughs> so. Is that a renter trait? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um. See, that's not how I read the question. Mm. So, I just thought it was like a skill that you got to keep. Oh, uh, no, uh. I'm sorry. I should have phrased that better. But yeah. This kind of still kind of works though. Mm. So, mine would actually be like an athletic ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if in an instant I could like run fast to like mm. get away from someone, then yeah, that'd yeah. be kind of cool. Yeah. Because I'm not a very good runner and mm. I'm not very athletic because my body's not very good. I know exactly. Doesn't Especially... do what I want. Especially being tall. I think people assume that because you're tall, like I'm tall, they think, oh, you must be athletic. It's like, no, it's just more body to be wonky. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. The taller you are, the wonkier things you walk. Like <laughs> yeah, just like squiggly. It's like a noodle. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, my body's noodly. Yeah. And so <laughs> I'm not very good at athletics. And like, I kind of, like, I was for a while, but I had too many body problems. And so yeah. that never turned into anything which mm. sucked. And so I always wanted to be like, stronger and more athletic i guess mm. than i am but yeah if it's even even if it's just a moment thing mm. yeah if i had the ability to run away from danger yeah at like in a moment then yeah, yeah. that'd be really awesome because now if someone's coming after me i think i'm pretty pretty screwed <laughs> well luckily i'd be there so i could you know with my skill i could be like wait a second okay bina all right, this danger, person, danger, danger. Yeah, this person's pretty <laughs> sus, let's go. And then you can just carry me and fly. <laughs> and like, let's yes. get out of here. Go, 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 go. If, hang on, wait. If I can fly, does it mean like you like a weightless with me if I pick you up? Or are you still your like own weight? Because I don't Well, think if I you could combine you. both of these together, because you'd still have the flight power from earlier. Yeah, but. And then you have the athletic power in that oh, yeah. moment. Ah. So I reckon you have like a five minute window. <laughs> you can, like, I like this combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Was cool. All right. And thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up and think about subscribing. I know it's a lot to ask. Most people on YouTube don't watch. Uh, ah. 
most people on YouTube aren't subscribed to the channels they're watching and I myself am also someone who does that. <laughs> so I've been more mindful of subscribing to the content I like and if mm -hmm. you should happen to like this content, please think about subscribing. <laughs> now we'll have links for Bina's music as well in the uh, description box. It's going to be down below. And yeah, Bina, thank you so much. I hope we can have you on the channel again at some point in the future. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And also, <laughs> all the collaborations that we've done will be in the links too. So, yeah. you know, Indoor Sunset, mm. Summer Sweater Season, uh, VB Vagin when it comes out. Also Autumn. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah, I'd be knowing. I'd be knowing. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you very much. And see you later. Bye-bye.